missing. Uh, hey, Frosman. Hey, new, new. Hey, blurb, blurb. Welcome, our Daddy. Hello, hello. Hi, Cray. <laughs> Terracoon, I'm addicted. <laughs> Whenever I start playing off stream, that's how you know I'm addicted to the game. Because I'm like, oh, I have 45 minutes before dinner. I'll play some Dark Souls. Uh, we are currently in the, uh, what is it called? The Land of the Giants? The Tomb of the Giants, where we can't see shit. Been watching back the VODs most of the day. Welcome, Scally. VODs got lost, and there's a skip. But, Scally, everything is there. There's just some, there's a, I f I'm fixing the YouTube error. Um, the one that's missing from Twitch is on YouTube. And then everything else is on Twitch, and I'm fixing YouTube so that there's not going to be a skip on YouTube anymore. That was, I just uploaded the wrong one accidentally. I, the reason I got confused is because that one, the previous one ends in Anne Orlando, and then I actually, and then the one I skipped, like, does stuff that's not in Anne Orlando and then comes back. So I just went from Anne Orlando to Anne Orlando thinking that that was correct, but it wasn't. I forgot I, I did the Hydra and stuff in between. Not as good nickname. Glad you're loving it. Uh, the interview went great. Ghastly. Oh my goodness. So might have might have a new science job. I still have to do a um, I still have to do one more interview, but it seemed very promising. Uh, apparently one of them was off stream. No, Scally, the only thing that was done off stream was like ten minutes of running in Anne Orlando. That was it. It wasn't like a full thing. It was just uh, what basically what you missed is the archers in Anne Orlando, and that's it. Uh, first time watcher. These emos look fun. Welcome. This so there's nothing there's nothing missing, Scally. If you just use Twitch, like use YouTube to fill in the Twitch the one Twitch gap, and then the rest is already all on Twitch. It's it's the one that's it's oh it's the end of the Mario Maker video. That might be why you're confused. It's the end of the Mario Maker video. It looks like a Mario Maker video, but it's actually Dark Souls. There are multiple of these games ahead. I know, I'm going to be really conflicted with what to do next, to be perfectly honest. Okay, yeah, the end of the Mario Maker one should end in, like, I think it ends in Anne Orlando, right? And then the one that starts in the um, house or whatever in Anne Orlando, what you miss is the part in between that. There's no episode there. It was just me running through it off stream. Yeah, I don't know what to play next, to be perfectly honest. All right, so um, we are currently in the tomb, tomb of the giants. Um, I think there's a dude right here. Homing soul mass is so good for these guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, it seems like there's a lot of uh, strong feelings about playing Dark Souls 2. I don't know. I, I am very, very tempted to just... Uh, oh, wait. Do I go down there? I don't remember where I go here. Maybe I go down here. Um, I'm going to be very tempted to go straight to Elden Ring though, just because Elden Ring looks so good. It's like really, it's really hard to not. And then if I'm like still craving more Dark Souls afterwards, um, I will probably, uh probably play dark souls 3 or something after maybe 2 and then 3 after that there's a I mean, there's a hot chance i'm going to want to play those after elden ring to be perfectly honest wait a minute is this is there another bonfire over here i've gotten a little confused 
I think after, only after I did all the regular Dark Souls would I do the other ones like Sekiro to see if I like them. Because I know I like Dark Souls now. I don't know if I like those. Because apparently they're a bit different. This is the way to go, right? Yeah, I think this is right. Oh, thank goodness. Now we can stop using that. Uh, Bloodborne is pretty similar, but Sekiro is different. Yeah, I understand that 3 is a, like a good middle ground, but I don't think there's nothing about like Elden Ring being more polished that would make me not want to play 3, though. We'll see, though. There's a chance, but I just, I'm like, this has got me so excited for Elden Ring. <laughs> Hey, Lefty, welcome. Yeah. Do games actually get more difficult? I don't know what that means. Do you mean if you haven't? But I mean, I thought Elden Ring... Oh, what the heck? I didn't one-shot it. Um, I thought Elden Ring would be the easiest of all of them to jump right into. Is that wrong? I just figured more modern games are usually easier to jump into than older games, unless you're used to the style of older games. Older, older games can be kind of jank. This game is very jank. Oh yeah, so there's an archer up here that's mega annoying. Can the archer shoot that guy? Or does it go through him? Hmm. Hard to tell. Oh yeah, this, I forgot this is a thing that happens. Gets snuck up on. Um. We love you, thank you for the two months. You tried Dark Souls, but you could never get good. Oh well, I'll watch you suffer. I have been having a great time. The only thing in Dark Souls that's like, feels pretty messed up to me is the like the dev exit dev knowledge tier or whatever like the catacombs i think is a great example of how if you know what to do it's not bad at all but if you don't know what to do and you don't like look up what to do it's like holy shit there's like hidden bonfires and like you know secret exits to skip half of everything and all that and so it's like it, it feels very much like a uh, mario maker one hot garbage level where like the dev exits allow the level to be done easily but if you don't know about the dev exits then you might be you might be bashing your head against the wall it's definitely very mario maker 1-esque to me um first 15 minutes of the dark souls one speed run yeah i'm sure that even with, i'm sure with the speed run they you know they, they don't do the dev exits they they've found their own exits that are even wilder See if I can hit this guy from here. Oh, it's interesting. He turned around. Are you gonna aggro me? No. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, there we go. <laughs> All right. They've improved on stuff. Hopefully, they've improved on obscure dev exits. Be wary of strong poison. Uh, don't get hung up on playing Elden Ring the right way. No, that's I. That's my. Uh, <laughs> that's what I've already learned about. Ever since I branched out into playing more games, like I don't know. I usually disagree with. Like, if if left to my own devices, I usually don't do you know what. The majority of people seem to. What the hell is happening right here? Hold on one second. Um. <laughs> ah! What the heck? Go away! <laughs> oh. I love, especially when a game feels a little bit like cheesy and unfair, I love finding like ways to, to it's like to jank the game right back at it. 
And they get, holy shit, what's happening? Okay, there's like a bunch of, these look like, um, you know what this reminds me of? These reminds me of the, uh, oh shit! Um, the Stygian dolls in Diablo 2 is what these, but they don't run at me. If these things, if these things ran instead of like slow walked, that would be fucked up. Missed opportunity. Oh shit, I can get hit from here. <laughs> uh, well, let's try to get this guy. Hold on, maybe I'm safe from those guys over here if I go over here. Oh shit. Um, so my friend gave me a hint. Um, uh, so we had just to uh, mention what I did off stream. There was a um, there was a lady that we found in the lake with the Hydra boss, and my friend gave me a hint that uh, I should just go back and explore that area. And um, there was a little summon sign with her, uh, and she sold a bunch of spells that didn't seem all that interesting. Um, but then there was like a whole bunch of gear on the ground, uh, one of which was this helmet. Uh, Crown of Dusk, which looks, I can't tell if it's great or horrible because it says, um, no, I have to do it in, I always do this in the wrong menu. So it has low defense, like much lower defense than what I was using. And it says, uh, raises the power and effect. I don't know what the difference between power and effect is of the wearer's magic, but damage suffered by magic attacks also rises. Um, so, if I'm fighting magical things like these, it might not be a good idea. I'm still binging the Grand Pool of Three VODs. Enjoy, who watches? Uh, just got to watch your Grand Pool of Three video. It took you two days. Well, hopefully, uh, that probably means longer time for buffs. Yeah, that'd be nice if it, uh, if it like, actually lets me use Magic Shield for more than two seconds. Might try, out, try that out again at some point. Okay, uh, what are we doing in here? So I think I want to dodge these dudes, use the pillars, and then try to get an angle. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't think I have enough spells for that shit. All right. YOLO! <laughs> uh, oh my god, I don't have enough spells for this shit. Are they, they better not be coming. Oh my God, they're coming. Whoa, one of them just went flying. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Do I want to go there? Oh, ah! Yep, the timer is supposed to be active. Sorry, I messed that up. I messed that up. And you know what? I think I played for like, I don't know, an hour and a half or something like that. So let's do that. Probably more accurate like that. It's not perfectly accurate. All right, deal with it. Right, what do you think of the game's lore? Uh, I was worried it was gonna be too derivative of Lord of the Rings and then like all the crazy sun stuff started happening and then I don't know it it ended up being pretty cool and unique uh, you were replaying Dark Souls 3 and your roommate kept asking you questions you realize they have absolutely no idea what's happening in the game I mean um, I don't quite understand why they're turning undead what's the difference between undead and hollow yeah I don't really know chat what's the difference between undead and hollow <laughs> what do you think is happening it feels like we're in some weird, um, I don't know, like intermediate realm between the living and the dead, but I, I don't really know. Uh, hollow is when they lose their mind. Okay, so undead is like, I see. So we're like hollowing, but we're not hollow yet. Um, so these, I wonder if the things that we're like fighting are the hollow, are all hollow then, or if that's just the humanoids that, uh, lost its humanity.
Nerd. Oh, there's another one right there. Nerd. We're just watching the bottom. All right. Finally done with this boss time? Question mark smiley face. Oh, these stomping on these is kind of fun. Woo! <laughs> All right. Um, perfect time for a prediction. Will we beat the next boss on first try? Yes or no? How did they get the sticks down there? Yeah. I don't see any underground trees. Treasure ahead. All right. Come back. The caster build. <laughs> Anything can happen. I think I'll start with homing soul mass and then we'll switch to soul spear because those are my most powerful spells. Here we go. Look at all the, how did those messages get there? Try neck. <laughs> the try. <laughs> I love how they always say like try or blank ahead. Uh, I wonder if that's, uh, when you write these messages, do you have a very limited amount of text? Uh, can you only, it's, I think three words. Might be the, uh... oh, okay, okay. It's keyword based. I see, I see. It's preset. You can only put predetermined words down. That makes sense because people would, uh, people would write horrible things. Okay, that, that makes a lot more sense. Also, let's see how this person died. Oh shit, so they jumped out and died within seconds. Uh, you love to see it. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, they are, they still write horrible things, yeah. You give people zero options and still they find a way. All right, we're gonna put homing soul mass on and then um, we're gonna switch to soul spear. I don't want to jump out there. Do I have to take damage falling down here? I don't know what other option I have. I could try sliding. Oh, uh, well, we're in. We're in. <laughs> that didn't work. Oh, ah, fancy, fancy meeting you here. How's it going? Um, Grave Lord Nito. Uh, okay, let's let's like go. S where? We oh shit! There's. Hold on, I'm at half health. First step, I'm at half health. Second step. I, my fucking soul, oh my god, my soul mask came off, ah! My soul mask came off and there's fucking skeletons. Okay, uh, finish that guy off. Oh my god, there's more skeletons. Okay, get that guy out of here, get this guy out of here, top our health off. Get, are they coming back to life? Get soul mask back on, get soul spear, oh shit, alright. Let's fucking blow this dude up if we can. Oh, blow him up, blow him up. Spell build! <laughs> uh, heal up. Okay, I gotta get away from the skeleton. Hold on, get away from the skeleton. No, 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 no. Ah, fuck me, dude. I got boxed. I got boxed. Okay, I have to just heal and pray that he doesn't slap me. Oh, I dodged it. Let's go. Oh my god, we're okay. All right, homing soul mess. Get our fucking... Anything, anything, get anything. <laughs> Do anything! All right, can we just fucking hit him like twice and we're good? Whoa. Well, it's a good thing we do ridiculous damage. 
Oh my god, I almost got boxed in the corner. Oh. <laughs> Sorcerer build, never know what happens. <laughs> we got a Lord Soul and a Humanity and 60,000 souls. His attack, wait, you did get boxed, but his attack killed the skeletons? That's amazing. You've lost every Gamba. Always bet on Sorcerer, except when don't bet on Sorcerer, because I just get insta-destroyed. Is that a, okay, that's just a skeleton corpse. Someone else got boxed in a corner. Do you know who that boss, lord, boss was? I saw Gravelord Nido. But I don't know what that means. Bon bonfire Egg. <laughs> really? You've seen him before? Oh, nope, I don't remember. Paladin armor. You want to know? Sure. Oh, I didn't actually rest with the bonfire. Well, we have 45 intelligence, uh, 27 vitality. Thinking about even more intelligence. <laughs> one more intelligence, one more vitality. One more intelligence. <laughs> uh... The nuke build. We missing damage? Yeah, I think we need a little more damage. <laughs> uh, oh, where do I go? Maybe I just warp out at the bonfire. Wait, hold on. Let me, uh, I'm gonna lower my sound just a little bit. It's a bit too loud for me. Did the sound change for you guys or is it the same as it always has been? I think I just did it on my end. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna just do it on my uh, on my end real fast so it doesn't affect you guys. Give me just one second here. <laughs> I cut it in half for me. There we go. Oops. Go away, monitor thing. There we go. Um, all right, I'm feeling like I warp at the bonfire. So I'm assuming you couldn't have gotten here without the bonfire warp then, because it doesn't look like there's any way out of here. Am I missing it? Let's see. I don't think so. You better upgrade your strength. You won't be able to up, 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 <laughs> hold up your head. Uh, like an arrogant sorcerer. Um, all right, so I'm going to recap for anybody coming in the stuff that we did because uh, I did do a little bit off stream. Um, I wonder how this would work in the randomizer. There's a, there's a randomizer for everything in this game or these days. Um, okay, so I... Um, so as I mentioned, I went and explored the Hydra area, Hydra area uh, because one of my friends gave me a tip that I should go explore that again. So I did, and I found some armor, um, and the uh, l that lady that we rescued inside of the uh, golem or whatever. Um, the other thing I did was I was just running around looking for secrets, and uh, since the beginning of the game, I have noticed that there is this thing up here. And so I spent longer than I care to admit <laughs> trying to find a way to get uh, to get up there. And I would be curious to know after what I ended up on if there's an easier way to do this. But I tried jumping off of every single freaking place in this entire thing. Like I, there's no wall that I did not try to jump over before finding what appeared to be the actual solution or at least a viable solution which is that it seems like you have to ride this thing up. 
another thing that I've wanted to do for a long time and go from here. And it's still shit. Maybe you can make that. I actually didn't. There wasn't an indicator. Okay, I didn't try that. If you can make that, that's not what I did. What I did was I fucking jumped over here and it's not easy and it took me fucking forever. Because it's hard to make this jump. And it's hard to get out when you're done. Yeah, this fucking jump. Oh god, okay. And then this part, I can't make it consistently at all. I get stuck here and I don't want to be stuck here. And then if I... And then I fall and do it again for the next 10 minutes. So this is what happened to me. And I don't know if there's an easier way to do this. It feels like there must be because this is too hard. Um, <laughs> but this is what I came up with. <laughs> Maybe you can make it this way. Because I didn't... This hint was not here. Try roll. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess, I guess I was doing it the stupid way. Because... So there was an item on top of that... Uh, on that corpse right there that I got. Um, and so that's why I tried going that way because you could see the item from right here. Uh, I guess this is the easy way. I, I didn't have this hint on. So let's try this instead. Fucking what? <laughs> uh, um, but I never saw what happens when we get to the top. All I did was figure out that it was possible. <sighs> Um, I also found the blacksmith in the catacombs. That was the other thing that I did. Um, and it was literally the place that I had already fallen down. Oh, I also found an extra bonfire in the catacombs, by the way. Fuck that. I knew there was a fucking dev exit. I knew there was a fucking dev exit, man. I was so salty. Didn't even know your way was an option. Oh my god. Yeah, the blacksmith cutscene was really cool. It was like an undead blacksmith. The bonfire wasn't in the original game. Oh, okay. That makes me feel slightly better about it. Because it was literally a dev exit. <laughs> it was just a hidden wall with a bonfire. All right. Um, so maybe I'm jumping onto the wrong thing. I think I probably want to jump onto this. And that's what I want to do. I swear I pushed jump 700 times. <laughs> oh. Hidden wall bonfire was in the original. I mean, it, it felt like a dev exit, so I'd be surprised if it weren't. The interview went really well, um, Vivian. I have a follow-up interview, but things look really good. This is not, I keep going the wrong way every time. So is riding the elevator the only way to get up here, BTW? Oh, let me... Hold on. Before we do this... I should refill my flask. Yes? Okay. Uh, that one seems fair, though. I did notice that when the very first time we went up that elevator, I was like, wait, there's stuff up here. So that one seems at least a little fair. What you have to do afterwards, I don't know. Mm. You can see the hidden wall bonfire from a lever spot, which is how you're intended to find it. That makes sense. As long as they have some hint for it. Okay. I think what I want to do is like... That. There we go. If I get a running start, the jump is like more likely to actually go off. Flyer ahead. Burb. Burb's just been sitting there. By the way, I put homing soul mass on and it auto-fired at the bird. And luckily hit the wall. So, uh, yeah, that's a dangerous spell to just have on. Mm. Is that, I think that's, no, maybe that's not where the elevator goes up. Is that where the elevator, maybe that is where the elevator goes up. Okay, what all's up here? 
It's a ca I wonder if we can get on top of that castle wall. There's burbs. Why is there a <laughs> curl up like a ball? What's the blood stain? Oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Curl up like a ball. Uh, is the bird gonna think I'm an egg and barf up food for me? It just it just barps up a magical ring. So the item, there is an item on top of the... <laughs> oh, I just forgot how majestic our character was. Oh my god. <laughs> that... Oh yeah, I should not be hollow. I should do... Yeah, all oh, the nerds are ready. Um, okay, so on, the, on top of the roof there... We got a key for the Undead Asylum. I don't know which one of these. One of these keys. Um, which only makes sense if you get to go back to the Undead Asylum. Good luck. If you get to go back to the Undead Asylum. So. Back to the start, I guess, we go. That's cool. I love, I love the map design of this game. I think it's my favorite part of the entire game. It's like a Metroidvania somehow, a little bit. God, you're... Oh, good, you're back here. But see, they have torches now, so... It's different. Beating to a pulp ahead. Oh, that's why people keep saying beating to a pulp, because it's one of the predefined options. I wondered why they phrased stuff the way that they did. That makes sense if it's the only option. Don't like how those doors look like they could just close behind me. This is where we fought the dude, I believe. These guys still suck. No, they give me 121 though. They've gotta be at least a higher form of those things. Okay, well, let's try going. Um, let's see if there's a path over here. I don't think there is. Pretty sure this is where we fought the boss. Oh! <laughs> uh, all right, game. All right, hold on. Let's get behind a pillar and put homing soul mass on. And let's get soul spear out and like three shot this guy because magic's OP. Keck W. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's a fucking explosion. Easy dodge. Uh, let's run far away and see if that helps. Uh, soul spear. I think I hit the wall. I hit the wall. I'm getting smashed. Ouch! All right, I gotta look at him. Damn, we got wrecked. We got wrecked. <laughs> we got annihilated. Yeah, they heard me say magic OP. Oh no, I gotta go back. <laughs> All right, um, let's go see if we can find a bonfire there or something because fuck this. No, I gotta go all the way back. So I think that one's gonna be, I think I'm gonna have to uh, watch its attack and carefully roll, cause I don't think distance helped. If anything, it missed me when I was closer to it. Oh, there's a bonfire. Wasn't there a bonfire before in the room just before that? 
Mm. Remember seeing this boss when you walk down the very first path out of yourself? Oh, that's cool, Scally. Yeah. That's. Oh, I could probably skip this. Actually, why did I skip it? I want to see that again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ah! Ow. Alright, no falling down there. I wonder if the floor is going to be open or if I'll have to refall down it. I guess you can see the floor it looks like it's about to fall in. Okay, uh, the other time... I think the bonfire from before was right back here. That's such a cool design. Yeah, there we go. This is the same one as before. But I have an extra key now, so there must have been a room here that we weren't able to get in before. That we can get in now. Uh, no chance that I remember where that is. Has that wall already been like that? Yeah. So cool, you just get to go back to the beginning of the game. Uh, YOLO? Is this where you started, maybe? I almost want that torch again so I can see better. Target, yeah, this is the beginning. Maybe one of the cells or something? Oh shit, uh, that's a dude. I'm not gonna use soul spear so I can save it for the, bo no, I can just, I can just reset it for the boss. Oh, that's the boss right there. Yeah, so we must have been able to see that at the beginning. Damn. Surely I can't hit, throw this through the bars. <laughs> that would be the that would be the cheese. Oh, imagine you could just lob some fucking stuff through that right there and kill him. That's got to be the speedrun strat, right? Okay, I can't open that one. <laughs> Can't open that one. Is this where we started? Peculiar doll. I did it. <laughs> What's that? Uh, it's under keys. A uh, strange doll with strange dress. A strange doll in strange dress. There once was an abomination who had no place in this world. She clutched this doll tightly and eventually was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. She clutched this doll and was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. Hmm, very peculiar. Very peculiar. Hmm, I have ideas. Homing soul mass. All right, um, I don't think we used our key yet, so there must be some door with the key still. Let's go back to the bonfire. Wait, that's the wrong way. You never play this game, so you're just smiling with the rest. What is happening? What? Who are you?
greatly reduces magic damage. Shield of a Nameless Knight. Mm. Chat, I have a question about how um, shield stats work. Do, my, do the shield stats give do anything at all um, by holding the shield, by when I have the shield equipped like this? Or do the, do the stats like reduce magic damage or any of the stats at all are, only affect me when I hold it out? Do I? Um, only when blocking. Like, so this will reduce magic damage, but this won't reduce magic damage. Most of it is when holding. Okay. But, like, I do have, I guess I do have the endurance regen from this shield just all the time, maybe. Um. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure, like, if I should worry about my shield stats too much or not. Oh, no. This one, like, restores endurance, but otherwise I don't really know what I'm doing with the... With the shields, to be honest. But the passive effects happen when equipped visible. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can find that. Um... Is it bad that I want to just use the... Oh, it doesn't work here? It doesn't work in this area? Come on, I want this lantern to just be a lantern. I would be so happy if we just had a freaking lantern. Use item. What? We use item. Oh, this is just uh, the tips, the starter tips. I don't think that was there, or was it? I don't even remember. Maybe it was. What a nerd. I might have just forgotten, and that already happened to me. Yeah, these are just all the starter tips. These are the starting nerds. That's where we got pulled down by the asylum demon. Oh, maybe this is it. Yeah, there we go. West key. This is new then. Rusted iron ring. What's that? Improves balance on poor footing. What? Um, terribly rusted. Those who find this strange ring to their legging would be pleased to find it's easier to gain footing on poor ground such as swamps. So I could go through swamp areas easier with it? That's a very weird thing to exist. Oh, this takes me back. Okay, I think I, now this is a place I've already been, I believe. What's this way? Maybe nothing? Nothing. such as swamps. I don't know if I can think of a swamp. Um, okay, that's that area. So I think we might be done here with the exception of the boss. And was this, I am think I'm going backwards and this is the starting area again. Maybe, possibly, potentially. Ah, <laughs> fuck you. Oh my God. Oh shit. Uh. Black Knight Sword. Okay, maybe I haven't been here. What? I don't remember another. Huh? Have I been here? Get your shield. Yeah, I must have been here. Hmm. Okay. No memory of ever being here. Oh, okay. That's just that way. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Uh, let's retry the boss. No, I haven't played any Dark Souls before this. Uh, will we beat the boss on this try? 
<laughs> I wonder if it'll take away my homing soul mass again. If so, um, dag nab it. I played lots of RPGs. Yep. Yeah. Yes, you can share clips. Oh, he's gonna get every Black Knight weapon to drop on his sorcery playthrough. Uh, all right, here we go. Maybe. There we go. Okay, do my homing soul mass stay? They do stay. So first step is. I can dodge it from. No, I didn't dodge it. All right, I should have some time to attack here. Uh, well, I can't move. <laughs> I can't move! I, I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate to say that I don't have... I was completely stunlocked. It was impossible to do anything. I tried healing, it didn't work. I tried rolling, it didn't work. <laughs> so I, uh, maybe being closer to him would be better. It was impossible to do anything. Let's try, um, okay, hold on. These dudes are just sitting right here, right? Let's just ignore them. Unless they, they might drop down on top of me, which is gonna suck, but assuming they don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is it two hits or three hits? And, okay, they do drop down on top of me, which is very bad. So I'm going to have to kill those guys next time. Uh, let's try getting closer to him and just seeing if I can dodge it. Here, let's see if I can dodge an attack from right here. Now he just fucking butt stomped on me. Um... I dodged that one. That's a good start. Okay, now this shit happens again. If I do if I dodge back, maybe? Yeah, there we go. We just need one more hit. Okay. What a boss. <laughs> what a boss. Uh, let me beat this on the next try. We didn't, right? Pretty sure that, that that was from before. All right. Uh, what do we got? Titanite slab. Ooh, I need that to um to upgrade. Sweet. I did it. Uh, I see a ladder right there. I think that's it. Is it's a ladder too. No. Watching all the Dark Souls spawns. Let's go. Oh, that's what you. That is what you come out of there. Okay. Um, that might be all there is to do here. I can't think of anything else. That's cool. Um, chat. Would that be considered an optional boss? Felt optional because I don't think I got anything like special from it. Want to know so you don't have to come back. Yeah, is there anything else worth exploring here? Hmm. There's one more thing. Hmm, okay. Give me a minute to look for it then. Uh, those questions are always yes or no, just so I like don't have to come back later. So Jen, you just wanna yeah you can all you, the safe thing to do is to just stick with the yes or no. Right. Um let's see if I can find something else. Just one more oh two more dudes. Two more, two more dudes.
Is that it? No, nope, that wasn't it. <laughs> um, all right, let's keep looking. You're thoroughly enjoying Dark Souls. I'm having a great time too. Okay, let me just go up here and see if I've missed anything. Like, I'm gonna start from here and see if I've missed anything. Did you prefer Catacombs or Blight Town? I like Catacombs way better than Blight Town. Blight Town can eat 20,000 dicks. I'm um, assuming I don't jump down there, but you know, part of me is tempted. Is that a different... I think I've been to that nest over there before earlier in the game. Let's see if there's something else there now. Yeah, I did this earlier in the game. But there's no button to do anything here. And then I died already falling off of that early at my beginning playthrough. All right. What is that? See if there's anything over here. Um. Hmm. Okay. Um. The thing is, is I don't know anywhere else to go that I haven't been, but I didn't explore this area fully over here. Cause there's this, I kind of did this fast. Um. Can I level up? No. All right. Do 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 do. Did I go in here? Yeah, this is just all the training areas. Is the thing that I'm looking for uh, inside or outside of the area here? Like inside the building or outside the building? <laughs> yes. Uh, inside, okay. So I'm in the right thing. Hmm. <laughs> Ball. Let's try going up here. Nerd. Orb. What? Uh, there was a rare spawn? What was it? I don't even notice. I didn't even notice. Uh, should I go back? I don't know what a vagrant is. The red orb thingy? Oh, is it something? It despawned, it disappeared. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's there for one second. I didn't even notice. Uh, okay, so there's this place again, but I don't think Cause I can jump somewhere from here. Mm. An online only enemy, interesting. Okay, is the thing that I'm looking for just someplace out in the open that I missed, or is there like some secret that I some is it hidden? Am I looking for something hidden or something in the open? There's nothing left. Uh, you found everything. Oh, did I get false info? Oh well, maybe we. So we're done then. There is a game mechanic, but you won't just find it. Oh, people missed when you got one of those things. So what I have done is I killed the boss. I killed two of those knights or whatever. 
Uh, I opened a key door and I got like a rusty iron thing and I went back to my starting area and there was a peculiar doll. That's what I've done. Uh, if there's anything else I should do, let me know or else we're out of here. Just thinking of the hidden mechanic. Hmm. It's all good. Bird nest. Still missing something neat, but you likely won't find it. This game has optional but incredibly obtuse dev exit style interaction. <laughs> I mean, if it's worth going back for, I'll do it. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's what happened to the other person. <laughs> That's exactly what happened to the other person. <laughs> oh, well, we're back. If, any, if you guys want to tell me, we're back. <laughs> All right, you can just tell me where it is. It doesn't seem like something I'm going to find on my own. <laughs> what, am I, what am I missing here? The small bird nest? Really? I've been to the small bird nest twice. What the hell? I've literally already done it twice. Amazing. Stairs are the worst enemy of spells. Okay, what do we do with the small nest? Yeah, you can tell me what to do. I... You, you, give me warm, give me soft. That. <laughs> give me warm, give me soft. Um, <laughs> am I supposed to drop an item? What the heck? What's warm and soft? I don't know. Nice, nice. So I sold a whole bunch of items to, uh, by which I mean I fed a whole bunch of stuff to Framp. So hopefully I didn't feed something I needed. Rubbish. No. So you have to log out and log in. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's some that's some shit right there. That's some shit right there. <laughs> uh... Why would you do that? Give me warm. Give me soft. Is this a new item? Tight night chunk. All right, we turned rubbish into. We turned rubbish into that. Now, I don't want to do this anymore, really. But does it work with a lot of different items? Is it only the rubbish? Uh. Good return on investment. <laughs> There's like 20 items at work. Wow. Okay, that's a cool mechanic. I'm glad we, I'm glad we did that. There's a whole chart. <laughs> All right. Oh hey, 25,000 souls. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> that don't have much of a use. That makes sense. <laughs> Silky smooth is kind of a hint, but not useful. Yeah, I was like, I would have done like the coins because the coins were smooth, maybe. I don't know, but, or like a stone if I had that. But, mm. There wasn't much to see, Hiles. <laughs> All right, uh, I think you can't go that way despite how it looks like you maybe should be able to. Um, you can get a skull lantern. So, okay, so what do we want to do next? Um, 
let's think about what we want to do now. Oh, is there an easier way down here that doesn't involve... This looks fine. Yeah, this... I love Framp sleeping. Oh my god, just head just bonked out right there. What a cutie. Okay. Um, I believe what we want to do now is think about what to do next. Because <laughs> I don't remember what to do now. Um, what's on, okay, what's on our list of stuff? It looks like we did the catacombs. We, okay, but what's the item we got? What's the item that we got from the catacombs? Sword of Gravelord Nido. We have the Peculiar Doll. Uh, I think that's all of our keys and things. Right which boosts bonfires even further. I don't know if I've tried that yet. I can't push use on it. Um. Okay. Let me think real quick about what we have done and haven't done yet. So areas that I know I still need to clear are the... Um, the ghost area, Londo Ruins, it might be called, or that might not be the right name. Um, the area down below us right here. <clears throat> Other areas that we know we need to go. The door opened in... My god, what is the name of the place? My brain just cannot remember. Anor Londo. So there is a, um, a, a bright, bright lit gateway that was lowered. I don't even remember what we did to lower it. <laughs> it might have been the princess lowered it or whatever that, Gu Guinevere? Maybe, maybe not, I don't remember. And then there's another one. <clears throat> there were three of those gateways that lowered and I don't know where the other ones are other than the one in Anne Orlando, sadly. Um, so that's the only one I know of. So we have the ghost area, we have the gateway in Anne Orlando, and is there anything else that I know to do? I, my brain just had something and it evaporated. Oh, it was the Valley of the Drakes. We also haven't done... Uh, the Lord Vessel with Framp opened the doors. Thank you. That's what it was. Uh, when you play this, you totally missed Framp's name. So we refer to him as Big Friendly Snake. <laughs> I like Big Friendly Snake. Uh, no, no problem. Fine. Thank you. I'll handle it if needed. Okay. So of those things, we got... Okay, yeah, Valley of Drakes. We have Anor Londo, Door... And we have, oh, and then the fourth thing is we have under the spider queen ladies area, there's the lava dude down there that's mad at us. Um, don't want to do that one yet still. That one seemed very hard, so I don't want to do that one yet. Uh, let's check out this gateway because we know that this gateway exists. And then I feel like I should probably do the graveyard too because the graveyard... I almost feel like I was making it through that area long, long ago, so it's probably fine now. So if this area is, like, super hard, then maybe I'll go back to the graveyard. Um. Made a lot of progress in the past 10 hours. Last time you were here, we were still running around Blight Town. Yeah, we did. Um. Shit, where was the gateway? Was it that way, or was it this way? I think it was this way. I'm sad the mimics don't respawn. <laughs> I should leave a mimic just to sacrifice myself to the mimic periodically. Um, I do declare that you are a nerd. If I've ever wanted to just farm soul, it feels like this is a pretty nice place to do it. Yeah, this is right. Was that Mimic your first one? I think it was my second one, which is how I knew really fast what was happening. I forget where we... Oh, the first one was in Sen's Fortress, I believe. Wait, this... <laughs> I, that, that wasn't like that before. No, that wasn't there before. 
uh, hello, how are you? Uh, fancy meeting you here as well. Uh, the, you have nice, pretty, red, demonic eyes. <laughs> Everything is fine. Uh... Wait, do we end the prediction? I can't remember. Uh, start prediction. Will we beat the next boss? In three tries. Should do it. I should just do. Will we find the next boss or something? Because I don't know how far away it's gonna be. Oh, because the counting ups took us fucking forever. Um, uh, you know. Nerd. Fang Borhelm. Oh, got a bonfire. Good. Oh, finally some, some fellow scholars. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, uh, what is this? Safe zone. I can, no, I can't pull. Wait, can I pull this lever? The contraption does not move. Is there another lever over here? No. Okay, I can't interact with those things. I guess we're going up the elevator looking thing. Uh... Okay. Oh, um, hi. How are, I'm getting shot by something. Hold on, let's, there's an arrow dude over there. Arrow dudes have like infinite range. Oh. Hi. How Ah <laughs> are you? <laughs> oh, come on. Am I gonna never be able to hit? Alright. Oh, look at that. Is there a golem thing up there? Okay, let's let the arrow shoot and then we attack. Aha! Uh, can I lure this guy to- Oh my goodness, hello. Is that a caster? Yeah. I don't know what that guy's doing. Okay, is there anything down here before we go up there? Don't necessarily see anything. I am stuck in the thing. Cadacious kite shield. Uh, chat, I need to use the restroom. Uh, I wonder if I'm safe right here. <laughs> if I die, I die. I'll be back in just a second. I need to use the restroom. Then we will continue this area.
I need to remember to get my laundry. Was ONS uh, was the one in Anna Londa, right? It wasn't as hard for me as other bosses. Definitely the Capra Demon was the hardest so far because of the limited space. <clears throat> okay, we are back. So we're in a completely brand new. Oh shit, that was fast. Uh, we're in a completely brand new area here. Maybe the golem will ignore me and I could just deal with this guy. Or I'll auto target onto that accidentally. That's fine too. Oh, I see you. Okay, get rid of that one. Um, looking and seeing if there's another dude waiting for me. As soon as this guy fires, I'm gonna go. The, the Duke's archives. Uh, that guy does not take very much damage from magic, so let's lure this other guy out here. Get rid of this guy first. Might have to bust out the biggins on this guy. Let's use a, sure, let's use our soul spear. But he's, da he's dancing! And now there's archers shooting at me too, what the hell? Oh. Dag nabbit. I forgot soul mass would auto target that guy. Uh oh. So these things are super resistant to magic. Ooh, broken pendant. What does that do? I wonder if I can feed it to the bird. Uh, broken pendant. What would that be? Broken pendant. Deeply enchanted. Uh, power of a stone can be sensed. Wait. Half of a broken stone pendant. A powerful magic can be sensed with this ancient stone. Uh, yet men of this time can neither manipulate nor sense its power, which has a distinct, an air consisting of both reverence and nostalgia. So I need the other half or something, maybe? You're not feeding, you're trading. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm used to, used to feeding Framp. What is this? This dude is like mocking me over here. What the hell is this? This is this thing is toxic. This guy is toxic. Oh, how come Soul Spear one shot him, but the rest of my magic didn't do shit? Um. Right. I feel like I hear something. Maybe a smith? Is that the sound of smith? Oh, no, it's the archers. It's the archers hitting stuff. Okay. Dumb homing soul mass. Yeah, soul 